Hello everyone, in this video we want to look at different shapes for buttons, especially for the race button and for the flat button. And therefore I have written here already something, so I have written here a method for building race buttons and every time we put here a shape inside. So here is the shape parameter and the same thing we do for the flat button and here I will also put a shape inside. And now we want to use these two methods to build every time some shapes and to test out the different shapes which are existing. So let's start with the first shape. So I go here every time at the top and write here my shapes inside. And the first shape I want to introduce to you is the stadium border. So I write here stadium border and then you can write this stadium border here. And this gets a site so we can define how our borders will look like. And then we can supply here a color. So I take here the color dot colors red. And now we can make use of the stadium border. So I use here another method to show like a race button and then a flat button next to each other. And here inside in this one, we want to put first of all the shape. So we want to put here our stadium border inside, which we have created. And I also want to create here child. So I want to show a text inside and I simply create here at the top some text and this simple text widget we want to put here inside, which is saying submit. So let's hot reload this. And then you see we have here this race button and this flat button and both of them have the shape of a stadium border. This is a little bit more rounded and it looks really cool because you don't need to supply here a radius. It is managing everything out of the box for you. You just need to put your stadium border and then he is doing the shape here around. So the second thing I, we want to try out is to make a rounded shape and we can decide how this shape looks like because right now it is decided for us and this time we want to decide it by our own and therefore we go here and write rounded shape and here we have this rounded rectangle border which we can use and inside of this border we want first of all to put the side inside so we will just keep it like the stadium border it's like a red uh, border and the second attribute which we have here is a border radius so we can define here how much it should be rounded so we can play with this one so i go here for example with border radius circular and put in here 16 and yeah i will just create here another line and this time i put here instead of this stadium border at the second i put this rounded shape inside and if we hot reload you see here that we have here this rounded border and it looks a little bit different than this one and this is because we define it here, but you can also change it. So for example, you can set it also to 32. Okay, it's not changing a lot. So maybe go in the other direction, eight, and then you see, okay, it's changing here something. And then you can define your border, which you like. So for example, 16 is something which is more rounded. We can also quickly copy another one. So we create here a less rounded shape. Instead of 16, we put here, for example, 8 inside. And now you see directly the difference here. So we create here another line. And this time we call it here less rounded. And now you see them next to each other. So we have here this rounded one with 16. And this one is with 8. And you can like play with these parameters with this here inside and to shape how much it should be rounded. So these are about these shapes here. Now we can also have a circle shape and the circle shape is something which is circle and therefore we want to place another thing inside instead of this submit and we want to take an icon therefore. So I write here first of all circle shape and then we write here circle border and inside we only need to put the side again inside. So we define the color of this border and we define it here as red also. And then we create here a new row and this time we put here the circle shape inside and let's hot reload it. So right now you see, okay, it's not really fitting, but we wanted to put something different inside. So instead of this text, we put an icon inside. So at the top, I just create here an icon 
and let me put it here as a child inside of this circle shape and now if you hot reload you see okay we have here this circle shape and inside is this email icon for example and yeah this is also what you can do for these uh, shapes and another shape i want to introduce to you is the square shape so this is like really basic so let's go here and create this shape and here i want then to use the same thing which we did before the rounded rectangle border and instead of setting here a border radius of eight or higher we set here the border radius of zero so this means it is a square or a rectangle better to say and let's look at how this looks like so we put here the square shape inside which becomes an erect angle maybe we can also name it rectangle so like you can see it is really strict and it has no rounded shape because we set it here to zero and the last thing i want to show you is the bevelt shape and therefore we use here this beveled rectangle border and inside we put again this side inside and we also put a border radius inside so i use here for example 16 and now we use this bevel shape for another row let's demonstrate it so i create here another row and i put here this bevel shape inside and now if we hot reload then you see that we have here this different kind of shape so you can also build a button with this shape then you just need to use this beveled rectangle border and then it looks like this so that's about this video so in this video you learned different shapes and yeah you can simply use them for your project which one suited you the best and yeah i really like this first one the stadium border because you don't need to define any border radius and yeah sometimes a square or a rectangle button is also really cool and yeah sometimes you can also use the circle shape or whatever so you have here a big variety of shapes which you can use for your application hello everyone thank you so much for watching this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about flutter and see you soon bye